y'all. I upped my workout today. Like, I saw this girl, she actually was showing workouts from Planet Fitness. And she was like giving tips and everything. And she was like, you need to increase your weights on your machines to where you can only do like eight to 12 reps. And I was like, hmm. So I did that today. <sighs> Ooh, I'm, I, I ain't gonna be able to move tomorrow. <laughs> but it felt good. But y'all, I'm struggling having motivation to come to the gym when it's so cold and chilly out, and I'll tell you why. Um, like, right now it's, let me see what the temp is. I don't know what the temperature is. Anyway, like yesterday morning it was 49 degrees. Um, this morning it's at least that, maybe a degree or two lower, I don't know. But, when it's cool like this, I just want to stay snuggled up in my robe and have my coffee but I'm trying to get back into my routine I'm trying to get back to my three days a week I had everything was not kind of so chaotic there for a little while it's 52 degrees now so it was at least 49 degrees when I went in this morning <sighs> um but I'm trying to get back into my routine I was going to put my seatbelt on for a minute anyway I also want to let y'all know, y'all see my shirt? I do have merch. I haven't really talked about it. Um, but I can link the website down below. And they have um, all different kinds of sizing. I do know that if you order the women's t-shirt, they are limited in colors. I don't know why. But uh, if you get like the unisex t-shirts, they have, I picked out multiple different colors. So, I will link that down below if y'all are interested in ordering you a Delightfully Southern t-shirt. Um, uh, I would appreciate it. You know, all the advertisement we can get, right? Um, but, now I've got to get home. And I've got to get the motivation to clean my house. <laughs> I was going to do that Saturday. Because James was going to be gone. I was going to get up and just kind of like get the house good and that deep clean you know and then I found out Delana was coming over and I'm like well that'll just wait because I'd much rather spend time with her than you know give up time with her just to clean the house when I can always clean you know so I want to get home and you know kind of start cleaning my house and then I've already been thinking about like Christmas ideas for my booth. <sighs> yeah, it's just, this brain never shuts off. I'm sure y'all are the same way. Have a million things going on. And just this brain don't shut off. So, anyway, let me get home, get me some coffee. Oh my gosh, I just wanna get some coffee see if it will kind of pep me up. I don't know what's going on with me. Like, I've upped my vitamin intake a little bit because I just feel like I'm dragging. I don't feel like I have the, the energy level that I had several weeks ago. And I don't like that. I like, you know, all that energy. So, I've upped my vitamin intake a little bit to see if just, you know, it might be a seasonal thing too, y'all seasonal thing I don't know but I mean I don't feel bad I just find myself a little more sleepy in the mornings and like when it starts getting dark I'm ready to get in the bed which y'all know it's gonna start getting dark at five o'clock <laughs> that's not gonna be good <laughs> but anyway let me get home and do what I gotta do so I'll catch up with y'all after a while so I just ran to Walmart I had to get up get a thing of coffee and get James some drinks for work and uh y'all I'm having I'm having the hardest time remembering what my car looks like when I park it it's so crazy because I I mean for years I had the white Kia and I just I have to constantly remind myself when I'm looking for my car 
what does it look like? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. But yeah, I'm loving my car. I love this car. It is just awesome. And I'm still thanking God every day for the blessings because he did it. He just worked it all out. And I'm just so, so thankful for him working it out for us. I'm going to go a different way home, but I'm not going that way because, well, I'm going to go that way, but not that way <laughs> um, because of the school traffic, but they have been working on part of the road that I used to come when I come like this part of town, but it has just gotten so bad, so I'm going to go a different way and get home. actually like having fall temperatures it's, it's just amazing I just love it so oh I'm trying to decide oh, there I go. Uh, no I'm not going that way I'll just turn and go a different way but this crisp cool like you gotta have something on your arms first thing in the morning, but you know, dress in layers. Well, I guess it didn't matter, it was my turn. Oh, I hate four way stops, hate it. <laughs> okay, I think I have yacked on long enough. Um, I know that this is not everybody's cup of tea to ride along in the car with me and me just chit chat about just nothing really <laughs> life <laughs> we all have things about the roads that we don't like right some people don't like traffic lights some people don't like four way stops some people don't even like to drive like my daughter y'all she is loving her job loves her job um She's caught on so quick. This is an area that she had worked in before. She works for the eye clinic. And she is just, she loves it. She loves the people she works with. Like, um, it's night and day. And I'm so thankful. Again, that's another thing that God did. It's amazing when you pray the will of God and let him have complete control in your life. How he works all things out. He just works it out so amazing and so I'm just so thankful that she's finally in a place where she's happy and loving her job you know so that's that's all we want for our kids is just to be happy just be happy oh my goodness okay let me get home having one of those days where you just make the absolute most perfect cup of coffee. Oh, I mean, could it be any better? Like, I got up and went to the gym. I did a solid, hard workout. Check. Perfect cup of coffee. Check. I mean... Is this how the day is going to go? <gasps> if this is it, I'm excited because it's going to be a great day. I hope that you're having your coffee or your tea or whatever your beverage of choice is. And it's just perfect. That's what I hope for you today. Embrace life's simple little pleasures. It doesn't always have to be earth-shattering rocket science. It's when we can find the time to appreciate the simple pleasures of life. That's what I'm doing, and I hope that's what you're doing today. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. So, yesterday I didn't do a whole lot of filming. I didn't really film anything much at all because after I got home from the gym, I went straight into clean mode. 
and I got my house clean, floors mopped, all of that's done. It felt so good. I've been wanting to do that for a while. So I got that done and now I'm working. I'm headed to the thrift store. We're gonna see what they have today. If they've gotten anything in that I just can't live without or maybe would be great in the booth. And um, I was really hoping my mom could come down today, but she has hurt her back. She hurt her back a few weeks ago and she's just having to kind of really baby it and take care of it. She's dying to thrift, but she's also realizing you know, she's got to take care of herself, so. She's living vicariously through these thrifting videos, and they're just eating her up. <laughs> so, hopefully, we can do some thrifting next week together. Um, but right now, I'm headed to Ocean Springs Thrift Store, and um, let's see what they have, you know. We're just going to see what we can get into today and hopefully we will have a great thrifting day and an awesome thrift haul so I'll catch back up with y'all in a little bit all right y'all I'm going to try to get some shots in the thrift store so we started out down this aisle where they have like the seasonal decor I realized as I'm editing this video there was a price tag on the back of that wood piece but I didn't see it at the time and I was like ah. I don't really want it anyway, so I didn't really waste my time looking for the price. But I did find this cute little pumpkin. And I know that people are kind of moving on into Christmas now, but I'm still enjoying fall. But I do like to look at the Christmas. And this piece, at first I thought was a vintage piece, but it had a Made in China sticker. And then I love the snowmen. I just think they're so cute. And I was just kind of stepping back and looking and see if there was anything that was going to kind of catch my eye. And then I rounded the corner. I'm showing y'all our bag section. And then those little trees right there, I was going to, I was interested in them, but they wanted $5 a piece for those. And I'm like, no, thank you. And I'm, I'm just glancing at the bag section to see if anything just catches my attention. And then I move on down the aisle with, um, like the metals and woods. And y'all, this is just like the tray I thrifted that I have on my coffee table. Um, I thrifted mine several months ago and I couldn't believe there was another one just like it. And this aisle, they had a lot of stuff, but nothing really good. It looks full, but it's like, it's a lot, but it's nothing. Does that make sense? But I do like to take my time and look and see because you just never know what you might find that you can make something out of, you know? So I glance and just look at all the shelves, all the bottom shelves, and then on the opposite side, they have all the wood stuff. And I saw this plate and I thought this was really pretty, um, but I didn't get it. It was $3.99, but I just put it back. And then I'm just gonna kind of step back and look and see if anything snatches my attention down this aisle and then we're gonna move on to the next aisle. I'm always stepping back and looking on this aisle because you just never know what seasonal pieces you may find. I'm still like not actively searching for sugared fruit, but you know, if I happen to find it, you know, if it's the right price, I might get it. But I thought this was a cute little grapevine wreath. I don't need it. But then y'all look at this home interior stuff. I remember we used to have this. <laughs> we used to have all of this and I just thought it was so sweet and the memories it brought back but I remember how we had that in the house I grew up in and my granny's house oh my goodness it just brings back such sweet memories and then I like to step back and check this aisle it's the candle holders and the vases and uh, you just never know what you're gonna find here and I thought this was so cute if you like doing the gingerbread theme how cute is that 
I thought it was adorable. I don't need it, so therefore I put it back. Are y'all proud of me? <laughs> but I did think it was cute. So on to the next aisle. And y'all know I'm going to stop and look at these mugs because I just love to look at the mugs. And um, yeah, I just, I, I just have a thing for mugs. What can I say? if I want to go into the Goodwill part of me don't even want to go in there because everything that I want is not for sale uh, that just really irks me but I'm this close I haven't been this week so then we're gonna hit the Goodwill and then when we leave there we'll probably hit the American thrift store in Biloxi the American thrift store is where I have all my luck anyway um, the Goodwills around here are not good at all, but the American Thrift Store, if you're in my area, that's your stores you want to go to. They're usually always good, um, and more times than not, I find stuff at them. I mean, it's rare that I go in there that I walk out with nothing, so American Thrift Store is your store. Complete waste of time to go in the Goodwill. Just complete waste of time. Now I'm headed to Biloxi. I'm gonna go to the American Thrift Store over there. Oh, this thing got warm outside. That's why we dress in layers. <laughs> wow, what an adventure this store has been. I didn't film in here. There's too many people, but so much happened in this store. So, first of all, I'm over there looking at the linens and stuff, and I see this guy walking up to me like he is coming to me. And when I turned around, like, to really, like, look at him, he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you was my wife. She has the same kind of hair you do. <laughs> he said, now I don't know where she's at. And then I was checking out, and I had bought a mug that I was going to give Delana. And the poor girl had turned her back, and the drawer opened, and it knocked the mug off and broke it. And that poor girl felt so bad. And I was like, hun, really do not let this ruin your day. If this is the worst thing that ever happens, we're good. And it's not a big deal, I promise you. And she just like, she's like, I'm, I'm just gonna be stressed over this. I said, do not let this stress you out today. I promise, it is fine. It is not a big deal. And I could just tell she was just so upset. I was like, did you do it on purpose? She said, no, I would never. I said, okay then, we're good. I promise it's okay. I really hate that that happened to her, not because my mug got broke, because I do not want that to ruin her day. And I really pray that she has a decent day. She was, it had already been a day for her already. And then that happened. And I've been there when days like that, just, it seems like one thing after the next. But it, I promise it wasn't a big deal. I mean, they make mugs like that all the time. I just really, really hope the Lord will help her and it not be bother her all day. And she's like, I'm going to be watching and try to find another one. If it comes in, I'm going to put it up for you. I said, girl, honey, please, no, it is okay. I promise it's fine. But anyway, quite the eventful thrift trip. But I'm telling you, this Biloxi American Thrift Store has been blowing it out of the park. Is it blowing it out of the park or knocking it out of the park? Knocking it out of the park. I think that's the proper term. Anyway, I got some amazing things. Some for myself. Some for the booth. Um... And I just cannot wait to show y'all what I got. It was a very, very good thrift day. So, y'all know. 
I'm going to share all of it with you and tell you my plans if it's for me what I'm going to do with it and uh, I'll tell you if what I've got is for the book but I've got my Christmas decor I'm planning all of that I'm nowhere near ready to decorate for Christmas okay y'all please don't misunderstand me I am loving fall it's my absolute favorite time and I'm not trying to rush the season but at the same time I am planning because when you're thrifting your decor you kind of have to have if you don't have like an actual physical note you kind of have to have a mental note of what you're looking for and then some things just jump out at you like a couple of items today that I purchased that I had no intentions of pur purchasing but here we are so I can't wait to share all of that with y'all <sighs> wow what a day and I'm about to burn up in this flannel shirt <sighs> but I can't really take more my my tank tops all twisted I'm just a mess but be getting home changing my shirt because your girl is hot it's almost it's 76 degrees i was gonna say it's almost 80 degrees which is a little ways away but it's closer to 80 than it is 70 <laughs> but <sighs> so i did buy me some pretzels to snack on because i'm starving so i gotta get my sanitizer on my hands oh goodness what a day already y'all you just never know when you go to the thrift store what you're going to find and what's going to happen. A man mistaking me for his wife. The poor cashier just, Lord, I just pray she has a, be a better day. I just pray that her day gets better. And hopefully, hopefully, with me not being a jerk about the mug and letting her know that it was totally fine. I mean, they give me a store credit on it. What else could they do? What, like we could glue the mug back? But I really, really pray that she, her day just gets better and she has an awesome day. I just really hate that for her. <sighs> oh well. Let me get home, pull myself together, get all of my goodies out, and I'll show you what I got. What a day. <laughs> Ooh, okay, you are going to see all kinds of things in this haul. Christmas, fall, booth, personal, you name it, I got it in this haul. And so let's just get started. I'll go ahead and get the fall things out of the way. But I picked up this little pumpkin and I picked up this, which honestly I was thinking this would even be pretty in my tree at Christmas. I'm gonna cut these stems off, but this was $2.99 and this was $1.99. Now I am going to add wax to this pumpkin just to kind of you know, deepen it up a little bit. And I got this. This is the only thing I purchased at the first American Thrift Store where I filmed. Um, I was, I got that. Okay. So, the Goodwill. Waste of my time. Don't know that I will be going back in there very much because it's just ridiculous. But, we're not going to go revisit that. But, I decided to go to the Biloxi American Thrift Store. I kind of didn't want to go, but boy, am I glad I did because that is where the majority of this haul comes from. So, first things first, I picked this up. How adorable is this? I think it is so cute. And I'm going to put this in the booth during the spring, but I thought to have, you know, a little shovel, uh, a little spade, a pair of gloves, a couple seed packets. How adorable is that? I just thought it was so cute and it's definitely something I would love. So I picked that up for the booth. I also picked this up for the booth. I Google linsed it and Robert Collier, I don't know how you say his last name, C-O-L-A-O. This is a vintage print from him. They have them for sale on eBay. And 
I'm going to put this in the booth and just see how it does. If it doesn't sell in the booth, I will bring it home, but I'm going to try it and see. I love vintage pieces like this. I really have nowhere for it, but um, if I did, I would buy something like this to go in my guest room. I just think it is beautiful and it just nostalgic, you know, it's just one of those things. It definitely needs to be cleaned up. It's dirty. Okay. Then I found this for myself. <laughs> I love this. And this is going to be included in my Christmas decor. I love that the frame has the green. I love that it has the linen inlay, the painting of the fruit. I haven't Google Lens this, um, but I don't think, I don't know. I haven't Google Lens it to see if it's worth anything, but I just loved it and I thought, perfect because it's got the fruit and since I'm kind of going with that theme this year so I picked that up for myself I'll just put it right back here I also found this bag of I got a few more pieces of sugar fruit you see what all's in this bag some more of the sugar fruit and oh yeah there's like definitely justifies buying this bag there's six bunches of these sugared grapes. There's a glass orange. Looks like the stem might be broke. What did it? Yeah, looks like the stem might have broke off of it, but interesting. And then these little candles, a little bag of candles. So that was my bag goodie that I got. Okay. Then I found a ton of doilies. Now, this bunch of doilies, like this, was $1.99, and y'all know I love my doilies, but just look how dainty. Look at this. So pretty and dainty. Oh, look at this. This one's one of my favorites. I love it. So, I got this bunch for $1.99, and then I got these three pieces, which they're like this. And they were $1.99 and I will just add them to my little stash and I may put some in the booth but y'all know I'm not leaving my doilies behind when I find them I love them <laughs> okay then I found this beautiful pillow cover and I was thinking Christmas uh, winter it is a pottery barn come from the pottery barn see that and I paid $2.99 for this and it is a 20 what is it what size is it let me see 20 by 20 so then I went over to the pillow section I found this pillow so I'm going to put this cover on this pillow and this I paid $5.99 for this and uh, I think that is a really good deal. So for like, what, $8, have a nice pillow. And I'm thinking I might put this in the rocking chair or I may put it in the chair in the kitchen. I may put it on my couch, I'm not real sure. But I probably won't use it for my Christmas. I'll probably use it more for my winter because, let me show you what I've got in mind for my Christmas. I will be using my beautiful velvet pillow covers that I used last year on my couch. And I think they are going to go so perfectly with these curtains. I got two panels. They are the Costskill, let me see, let me get right here. The Costskill brand and I paid $8.49 for two panels. And I'm going to hang these up in my living room for Christmas because I want to do just the deep, rich, um, sugared fruits, golds, um, the greens, the reds. And this is very reminiscent of like my nativity that I use. Um, this kind of will blend in with that. Um, so I was so excited when they had two of them and I measured them. I had my tape measure in my purse. I measured them. I also got 
a different curtain that said it was 84 inches. I needed like 95 and these were like 93. And I'm thinking with my little clips, they'll be fine. And then the way that I do my chair and the tree and everything, they'll be perfect. Uh, I believe they'll be perfect in my living room for Christmas. And I just loved this rich gold and red. I just love it. And I love a tapestry. This reminds me of a tapestry. And I love that look as well. So that's kind of where my mind is going with my Christmas. Um, doing all the sugar fruits and all of that kind of stuff. So the last thing I picked up is this little guy right here. And I just thought it was so cute because it looks like dirt, but you probably won't see it because I'm probably going to put it in something. Uh, I might even put this one in the booth. I'm not sure. Like, you know, it's just like decor to add to it. But this one was $2.99, which I didn't think was bad at all. And so I picked that up. I'll probably take this little bow off but anyway I thought it was so cute and I love having these little guys just sitting around and anytime I can get them for that inexpensive I'm gonna pick them up because in my opinion these just look so cute just scattered here and there and everywhere so <laughs> got that and that is my thrift haul I really hope y'all enjoy uh, seeing all the goodies that I got sorry I wasn't able to get as much footage for y'all today but you know, it just happens like that sometimes. But um, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and wax this and get it in place, and then I'm going to um, figure out where I'm going to put this for two ninety nine. I just thought you couldn't beat that deal, so grab that. But let me get this stuff done and back up y'all a little bit. This is exactly what this plant needed. This fern I got from Dollar General last year. I have not been able to find it again. And then I just cut the picks off of that plant I thrifted and just added it in there. And that is exactly what this piece needed. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. <laughs> I also added a few sprigs of it in this plant here as well. And I love the way that looks. It needed that. It needed a little bit of height, in my opinion. So I added some wax to my little pumpkin. It just kind of deepened it up a little bit. And now I'm gonna go put it on the front porch. So cute. Update on the mums. They are starting to open a little bit. That's a good thing. And then I've had these setting out in the sun, so they're wanting to open up pretty soon. That poor mom over there looks horrible. But that is an update on the moms and the front porch. Starting to see glimpses of color. Fern is doing amazing. Can we all have Buster's life? <laughs> is it tough, Bob? Oh my goodness, is it tough? <laughs> all right, y'all, that's what I have for y'all today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you are liking um, seeing the process of how my Christmas idea decor is coming along. I love bringing y'all along with me on that journey. Now, the trick is going to be making what I have up here come to life. That's going to be the deal. You know what I mean? But I do like including y'all in the process and the planning stages of it as well. It's one thing to like see somebody decorate something, but I personally kind of like seeing the process of, okay, where did you get this idea? How did you bring it all together? You know, all that kind of stuff too. So I hope y'all enjoy that. And I am so excited to have y'all with me on that journey. 
hopefully, hopefully we can bring it to life and it'll be beautiful the way I have it in my head. <laughs> so thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the past couple days and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.